for the final step of the recipe, we're going to take our mixture and we're going to add it. I'm sorry, I forgot to put it on silent. Let me get rid of them. Hello? Is this the Craven Diner? Craven Diner? What? Give me five pizzas with extra soul on them. Who is this? Salvador, get rid of this creep. Hello? I'm your boyfriend now. Gross. I don't get paid enough for this. I love soul food. Eeny, meeny, miny. Oh, I didn't notice you there. Welcome to my nightmare. Whether you're a dream child, dream warrior, or dream master, one thing we can all agree on is that nothing's better than pizza and a good horror flick. And maybe a few beers. Today, I'll be showing you how to make Freddy's Soul Pizza from Nightmare on Elm Street 4. To get started, you'll need a pizza crust. I'm using a store-bought ready-made crust to make things easier. Your favorite pizza sauce of choice, shredded cheese, and toppings of choice. To add some soul to your pizza, you'll need a processed cheese block such as Velveeta, flesh tone food coloring paste, a black food coloring marker or black food coloring and a paintbrush, and a silicone face mold. I found this particular mold online, but your local craft store should have doll face molds in the clay section of their store. I'll be sure to put the link for this mold in the description below. Next, we're going to prepare our soles. Cut your Velveeta into small chunks and microwave until smooth and melted. Add a very small drop of food coloring until you get a nice flesh tone. Velveeta comes in both orange and white varieties and either one will work just fine. Now you're just going to spoon your melted Velveeta into the molds and place in the refrigerator until firm. Once firm, pop them out of the molds and use your food coloring marker to darken the hollows of the eyes and the mouth. Place them back in the refrigerator until you're ready to use them. Let's get started on our pizza. First, preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Then prepare your crust and top with sauce and your toppings of choice. Freddy's Soul Pizza appears to have meatballs, but I'm gonna use pepperoni. Now top your pizza with your shredded cheese and be sure to leave a few empty spaces for where your soles will be placed. We'll be placing our cheese on top of the pepperoni to help obscure it and make the pizza look more accurate to the one used in the film. Now just place the pizza in the oven until the cheese has fully melted for about eight to 10 minutes. The convenience of a pre-made crust makes this recipe quick and easy. Once the pizza has cooled slightly, you're going to place your soles on the pizza. It's important that the pizza has cooled down a bit so your faces don't completely melt and lose their shape. Place the faces on the empty spots on your pizza and you're ready to serve. No Parmesan. If the food don't kill you, the service will. <laughs> don't ask what happened to the last guy who forgot to subscribe to me on YouTube, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so the same thing doesn't happen to you.